And in Benin, Prime Minister Lionel Zinsou is facing businessman Patrice Talon in the final round of elections today. Zinsou garnered 28% of the vote on the 6th of March, slightly more than Talon, who got about 25%. Polling stations opened at 7 a.m. and are due to close at 4 p.m. Zinsou is a former investment banker and a member of the country's ruling party. Talon, who has made millions of dollars importing fertilizer for the cotton industry, went into self-imposed exile in France after being accused of conspiracy to poison President Thomas Boniyayi, a charge he denied. The allegations against him were dismissed in 2014. Boniyayi promised to step down at the end of his second term this year, prompting 33 candidates to run to replace him. The large number of candidates split the vote in the first round, preventing anyone from winning a majority. The promises from 10 years ago haven't been fulfilled, so this campaign is like a release. We are proud that this election is going ahead. This campaign is like a party. Both sides are so happy. There's no violence. We are friends and brothers. We will find out on the 20th of March who will be the winner. But there are 12 voting regions in Benin, and we know that Patrice Talon is going to defeat Lionel Zinsu in eight of them. So Patrice Talon will win. We are confident that Lionel Zinsu is going to win this contest. It's like a football match between Argentina and Cameroon, when Cameroon's already been given two red cards. We are going to win.